Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Sunday, August the 21st, 22nd, 2021. I had to check that. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. Please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks very much. If you would like a personal reading, please message me. This mess, this reading is for the sign of Aries. The sign of Aries. Even though this is uh, particular to Aries, it will not resonate with all of you out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Good afternoon, Aries. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of the people around you and yourself and vice versa. You are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You have that beautiful, beautiful star shining inside of you. Let's cut the deck for Aries. Spirit. The lovers. Gemini energy. The lovers. I can't, don't know what else to say about this. I do actually love this, um, this kind of lockbox um, in front of them. I think it's very beautiful. And also the toothpaste, the toothbrush with wings. I love it too. The lovers. What is crossing this? Santa Morata. Santa Morata. Morata. Um, this is the death card, Scorpio energy. This talks about the death, rebirth, regeneration. Um, so it's kind of like a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. They show um, the saint with a pregnant belly because this is the end of a cycle and the beginning of another cycle. What is consciously known? The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love. This is water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. She is loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, a good partner, a good parent. The Queen of Love. Unconsciously known, the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. This is the money tree. This is my money tree card. So let's like an abacus. I know that uh, for counting, but this is my money tree car. Seven of Pentacles means you're working on your money. Pentacles are Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Recent past. The why are my cards all playing around? Five of Wands. Five of Wands talks about fighting, arguing, chaos, conflict. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fighting and arguing. Near future. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Passion. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's maybe you. Um, the Queen of Wands is good looking, charismatic, fun to be with exciting sexy sensual sexual the queen of passion queen of love and the queen of passion where do you find yourself the ace of swords somebody has brought you honest new communication aces are all about new beginnings swords are about communicate honest communication swords are gemini libra aquarius new truthful communication External influences. The Five of Cups. Pessimism. Being broken hearted. Focusing on. Um, generally shows the person focusing on the three cups that have spilled in front of them. And often it will show two cups behind them. When you are ready to move on from your sadness. There's two cups of love waiting on the other side. But you're going to be single for a minute, i got to tell you. Cups are water energy, can't surprise you, Scorpio. 
hopes and or fears. The star, the star, Aquarius energy. This is the star. This is the angel card. This is the wish card. This is what you, this is you. This is the star that is in you. Um, they, the star um, always has, um, the star will pour one cup of water into the, one cup into the water and one cup into the earth. So there's water here and earth up here. And she is in the middle. Overall outcome. The world, the world. This is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. So something is closed off, which we also saw here with this one, Santa Morta. Cycle B beginning, new cycle beginning, and you have the star. So you're going to be off to a positive new beginning. Ace of Wands, look at that. Passionate new communication. Aces are all about new beginnings. This is new truthful communication. This is new passion. One, it's our fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. New passion, a new passion. This could be a person or like a side job type thing. No, but Knight of Cups, maybe it is love. Knight of Cups is a younger energy than the Queen. But still loving, caring, compassionate, um, and could be a non-committal lover. Um, just, yeah, watch for that. Not really getting it now, but it's just a warning I like to give. Because the Knight and Queen, the Knight and Queen of Cups, there's a little bit of age difference, but it... They're both, they're both uh, messengers of love. So the higher fan talking about a higher level of commitment. This is order, tradition, stability, higher level of commitment. So maybe the knight and the queen. Nine of swords. What? What? Aries, what has got you up at night all up in your head? Sleepless nights, worrying about what could have, what should have, um, what you could have done differently. Uh, close this cycle out, so, Aries. Three of Wands, you are waiting for something. You are waiting for something. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we had... The end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. The end of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. We have a queen. Queen of love. A knight of love. Queen of passion. High level of commitment. So let us see. I like the world as an overall outcome. I really like it. Some good's coming in. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I like it, Aries. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. One more shuffle. Done. Trust. Situation is calling for you to have trust. Well, Aries, I'm going to say... Looks like a positive new cycle is beginning. Very beautiful. Let's see. I will see you day after tomorrow with your next Aries read. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. This has been Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye.